It's amazing how things can just flip on their head, isn't it, in the NFL? Yeah. I remember when Matt Rule was hired. Remember, everybody, every team in the NFL who had an opening one at Matt Rule. Sure. David Tepper gave him a seven-year contract, man. Ooh, I mean, yeah. it wasn't like this was some guy who people, like he was like knocking on people's doors going, oh, please hire me, hire me, I need a job. Now it's, well, we need more energy in the building. We've lost consumer confidence. Yeah, We're getting the, or, you know, the brakes beat off of us every week. So we not, I got to find somebody who has more energy, who has more ideas, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what did you think three years ago? Like, what, is it, what were the things that he told you three years ago that sold you to give him a seven-year contract that now all of a sudden you're going, I just got to get him out of here, and he has how much left on his contract? Forty. Forty million dollars or Forty. something like that I saw? Forty. Ooh. And I remember. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Yeah, go ahead. My, my point being this. Like, here, here's, the, here's the weird thing about this. It's like, you know what? Instead of, like, spending so much time trying to find out who's the latest, greatest guy that Adam Schefter is talking about or Chris Mortensen's talking about or anybody else at any of these other networks is talking about as a hot name, Maybe turn inward, look at your own process, and go, what did we miss here? What yeah. did we miss? Because they were sold on this dude, man. You would not, and, and I don't mean, I don't say that disrespectfully, because I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. When I was down at the Senior Bowl and Matt Rule was coaching the Senior Bowl, I was listening to him relate to the players, talk to the players, coach the players, encourage the players. And I, and I liked many, many, many things that I heard. Many yeah. things. But something went horribly wrong from the time they hired him he coached the Senior Bowl. He gets down there, and he's trying to implement his program till now. Something went wrong. So if I'm Mr. Yeah. Tepper, I'm sitting there going, I got to figure out what I missed here. Because it's not just about finding the next guy with some great ideas who makes me feel good and helps me sell tickets. It's bigger than that. You know what, Lewis? I couldn't agree more. I think we did a show that day, and we yeah. sat and listened to David Tepper in the introductory press conference, and he's right. I mean, this was a we went out and got this guy, Jeremy. This wasn't he happened to fall in our lap. So yeah. you mentioned that he wants to get some excitement, or we talked about this, about the coaching job itself. But what, it, what will the process be? Well, I think they'll look for probably a different personality. And to Lewis's point, I go back to what a source told me about the Matt Rule era, that he is generally well-liked, but his experience came from Tom Coughlin when he was an assistant coach. So he tried to bring a Tom Coughlin old school, which is tough in this era, as we know, yeah. and mix that with wanting to be liked by the players. And there were some communication issues that came with that. So they're going to want a master communicator at the NFL level, somebody who's proven it. I'm told they'll also want somebody who can be uh, flexible in offense, I should say, adaptable. Like you're seeing coaches around the league do well with either backup quarterbacks or quarterbacks that aren't considered top 10 passers, like a Jalen Hurts comes to mind. They're going to want somebody who can do more with less. Listen, le leadership of men is the, is the main and contributing factor to success in the NFL. It is not – you can't out-recruit them. You can't do all this. It's not – and to Lewis's point, it's not always about X's and O's. It's about getting guys to believe they play above X's and O's. You have to have that type of mentality. It's how these guys lead in the locker room. And you see it – Day Bowl is a perfect example, yeah. right? As you have guys, it's not always perfect, but for whatever reason, these guys feel they can accomplish yeah. it for him. That's what they're looking for to find and care They about. are no doubt buying what he's selling. There's little yes. question about that. By the way, mm -hmm. speaking of being adaptable, P.J. Walker – in line to start Sunday against the Rams. Baker Mayfield continuing to deal with a sprained ankle. Jeremy, thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.